Hey guys, it's Subset, and today we are going to be talking about regen in Destiny 2. We will be looking at it both in PvP and PvE. So I will be comparing the difference between 0 and 100% recovery. So let's talk about what recovery actually does. There's two main things that it accomplishes. It speeds up the time it takes to start recovering, and it increases the overall recovery speed. So now let's take a look at some of the numbers. The recovery speeds are the same in both PvE and PvP, so we'll just be testing it once. First, we will be looking at maximum recovery. It takes 1.73 seconds to start regen. It takes 4.2 to hit max once regen has started. And from the very start to finish, it takes 5.9 seconds. Now I will be switching everything over, so I'm at zero recovery and we'll be testing it again. One of the reasons why recovery is so good is just because how universal it is. You always need to regen health, and your life should always be the number one priority. It takes 3.2 seconds for regen to start, then it takes 5.7 to hit max, and from start to finish, it takes 8.9 seconds. In PvE, this is the exact same. Now let's get into some PvP and test out how this recovery actually feels. So yeah, let's see how it actually feels to recover. Okay, I'm back to max already. Yeah, that's so much faster. This could be great if I'm like rushing with my shotgun. I peek out of cover for a second if I get hit and I can keep rushing. This is definitely one of the best, if not the absolute best stats for PvP. Look at this. I got hit a little bit and I'm regened. That is so fast. Like that, that guy was sitting there at that health for so long. If I guarantee if he had max regen, he would have been full by the time I pushed him. It's actually pretty crazy. Here we go. Oh, I'm getting hit still. And I'm regenning. This is. It is so fast. And. That is the perfect example. Right there. I got my regen in the perfect time that allowed me to push and be at max health. I really wish I had outlaw on this gun. This thing is an absolute shredding machine. Oh gosh, this is such a bad spot. Let's see. Oh! My regen came into play. Oh! There we go. Yeah, this is just a stat that affects every single gunfight. There's no other stat that does that. And it keeps you alive, which is obviously the most important thing in PvP and PvE. I'm going in. We're going. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Aww. Oh no. Can I kill him? Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I should not have shot a Dawn Blade. That's a bad decision. Yeah, having max regen would also be great for if you're using a sniper, because you can instantly... Oh gosh, you can leave the fight. Oh my gosh, that guy got wrecked. I'm gonna die. You can leave the fight, regen really quick, and instantly enter back. 
or say you get hit really hard, they start pushing you with a shotgun. By the time they get to you, there's a good chance you'll be at max. So there's just so many situations, like every single gunfight. Yeah, having max regen is so good. And max regen is also extremely good in PvE. A lot of people would ignore recovery in PvP, and instead go for something like Discipline or Intellect. But in many situations, recovery can be a great stat to have ranked up, as its whole focus is keeping you alive, and that's one of the most important things in PvE. And it really does help. You'd be surprised at the amount of times that little bit of health that you were able to regen saves your life. And because of this, it's a great stat in both PvP and PvE, and you should really consider it when specking out your characters. That's it for this video on recovery. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, it really helps me out if you drop a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video.